What's up you guys, my name is Serge, coming at you again with another tech tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be following up the MJE firmware flash and vroot that I did previously before. I'm going to be following that up with showing you how to remove and replace the Chinese uh, vroot super user that they install whenever you're doing the root process, how to replace it with the official super su by Chainfire. I'm actually going to be following this tutorial that I found by WolfDroid, I'll leave a link to his website in the description down below if you want to follow the written tutorial. That's the tutorial I'm going to be using. In his tutorial, if you scroll down to the bottom, all the way to the bottom here where it says download, go ahead and download the replace vroot with super user zip file and it's going to take you to Mediafire and you can just go ahead and download that zip. All right, within that zip file, you will find a folder called MRW. Please ignore these other files as they are for other projects, but this MRW file is what we are going to need. All you have to do is go to your phone and plug it into your computer. Okay, so you can go ahead and unlock the phone and go to the Connect USB installer and select Media Device or MTP. Once you have done that, go ahead and go back to your computer and right click the MRW file and hit copy. Once you've done that, navigate over to your phone. In the root of that folder, or just whenever you open up your phone, just go ahead and paste it in there. So right click and hit paste. There you go. So that MRW file should be in the root of your phone. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the phone. So here we are back on the phone. And as you see, we still have the super user, the vroot super user application and the other application that it installed while installing super user. So we have those two files there. So go ahead and go to the Play Store. Click on the search and search for terminal emulator. It should be the second option. Okay, so go ahead and download Android Terminal Emulator. It's absolutely free. And just hit install and accept. There we go. Now go ahead and hit open. All right, once you're successfully in here, then go ahead and hit type in SU. S as in Sam and you as an umbrella. So your screen should look like that. And then go ahead and press enter. And then this will pop up. Just go ahead and allow. There we go. And if we refer back to the written tutorial, the command to actually install super su, which is what we're doing right now, is sh space slash sd card slash mrw slash root dot sh and these are all forward slashes so make sure they are forward slashes and if you did it correctly you should have this sh slash sd card slash mrw slash root dot sh okay and then go ahead and press the continue button and it will go ahead and give you a whole bunch of errors on saying that a whole bunch of applications couldn't run and it had to force close. Just ignore them, don't press OK or anything on it and your phone should automatically restart. Okay, so once the phone is fully restarted, go ahead and open up the phone. Then go to apps and then go ahead and go to Super SU. Then go ahead and hit no thanks. Okay, so in my case, as you see, the super user application is there no more. Super SU just went ahead and replaced it. So I'm actually gonna open it up again. And in your case, if this is your first time doing it, you might get a you get a you might get a few notifications. The first notification you'll get is super use super SU asking you to update your binary just go ahead and hit continue then the next one will say 
how to install it, just go ahead and hit normal. And if everything went right, then it should be successful. And then just hit no thank you as I did before. And just to verify, let's go ahead and go back and go to the root checker application. So here we are in root checker basic. I'm gonna go ahead and hit verify root. And as you see, super su goes ahead and takes over. I'm gonna go ahead and hit grant. And there we go, congratulations, this device has root access. And that's all there is to it. So in my case, for some reason, the vroot super user was automatically replaced by super su. But I do recommend if it's still on here for you, go ahead and uninstall it. You can go ahead and uninstall it through the phone's application manager, or you can do it through titanium backup, which is what I recommend. But in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall this secondary application and hit OK. And there we go. It is completely uninstalled and you have Super SU and all the applications that vroot used before should be gone. All right, so that's it for now. Uh, make sure to stay tuned because I will be making another video on how to clean everything up after the fact because there are a whole bunch of residual files that are left over after all of this. So I will show you a really good application that I use to clean everything up afterwards. And I will be making new videos on for titanium backup. So stay tuned for all that. All right, if you found the video informative, please be sure to give me a like so more people are able to find my video. And I will be having a whole bunch of other videos just like these coming out soon. So please be sure to subscribe to get those videos on your timeline as soon as they come out. If you know anyone else with the Verizon Note 3 and are looking to root their phone properly and install SuperSU, please be sure to share this video with them. If you feel I missed anything, please leave a comment down below and I will be sure to address that as soon as possible. Alright, that's it for now guys. Y'all have a good one.